Hey everybody, I'm Seth Goldman, and here is your entertainment buzz. Well, some of you out there may say I'm the luckiest man alive hanging out with Miss USA, Miss Universe, and Miss Teen USA. How you guys doing? Doing pretty good. What are some of your best memories of that time back in August where I co-hosted the event and you got crowned? Uh, well, I did make, make a lot of new friends that I stay in contact with now um, throughout the pageant, but one of the good friends that I made was Hillary Cruz, and we're act actually in acting school now together, which is so much fun, but all together, just the whole experience being crowned with Teen USA and, you know, changing my life over to be, you know, living in a big city, uh, small town girl going to the big city, so I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Good deal. All right, so you tell us a little bit about what's going on here today. Well, actually, we're going to here, you know, stay here for a while, try to enjoy all of you guys, like featured with all of you guys. We have a new queen over there. She's Miss New Jersey. And so we're very lucky for being here and take pictures with her. Now, you don't win these pageants just with a pretty face. What would you say the secret to your success has been? Um, I guess just stay yourself, be yourself and enjoy the moment. Don't, just don't take the pageant as a job because it's just an opportunity that you have to have fun, to get to trouble, to get to know the people that is working with you and just be yourself. Sarah from Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, this is for Miss USA. What is the most important issue that you think President Obama should address? Well, one thing, I'm, I'm, for, I'm a fourth generation um, educator, so one thing that I'm very passionate about is education, and I know that's one thing that he's going to focus on, focus on uh, firsthand is um, educating our young people in a, a proper manner and making sure everyone has equal opportunity to so education. One more question. Um, Heaston Stewart from Florida, what are you looking for in a man when you eventually try to settle down? Ooh, money, benefits. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. To be honest, as someone that's humble, that's friendly, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's friendly and just an honest person. I just want a good, a good, solid man that um, will care for me and love for me, and um, and uh, just a good person, really a good person, genuinely. Keep it going. I'll say someone that really knows who he is, someone that respects himself, uh, that knows where he wants to go and where he comes from, and that especially wants to be with me and wants to care about me and love me. And lastly. Well, I've definitely had to kiss a few frogs in my past <laughs> to get to the prince, and I'm still kissing those frogs as we speak. <laughs> but uh, just someone who's secure with themselves and who's confident and who can support me, but also someone I can have trust in and a best friend. So that's mainly what I look for, someone who I can be best friends with. I think that's where it starts. So. Good answers. You all obviously won for a reason. All right, so that is your entertainment buzz. Thank you guys very much. I'm Seth Goldman for NBC Mobile.